It takes a kind of particular type of visionary to get all excited about systems that connect all the information in the world. And so these are the kinds of people that do things like the World Wide Web, like uh, the NLS in the 60s by Doug Engelbart, uh, Ted Nelson and the Xanadu uh, vision. And going back before computers, Paul Otle and Henry Lafontaine in Belgium built what uh, became the Mundaneum, which was a kind of like a giant library, but associated with the League of Nations. Um, and with this kind of internationalist movement of uh, the 20s, with the idea that if you brought all the information in the world together and made it accessible and created or mapped out the connections between different fields of knowledge, it would create world peace. You would usher in an absolutely new age for uh, humanity. The internet, which is the actual kind of networking level, just transporting raw information, um, has its roots in telegraphy in the 19th century. Um, computer networks started to be really thought about in the 60s. And the ARPANET, predecessor of the internet, was the major project in that, connecting computers to each other, which before that was not at all obvious. Uh, they were incompatible. You're know, like hooking a washing machine up to your uh, microwave or something. And it took many years to develop the technology, many years of nobody being interested, and finally ARPA decided they needed a network to connect their research computers together so everybody could share each other's resources. Roads of yesterday made into modern highways of today. This was the first piece of the backbone of the internet ever. From UCLA to SRI. You have to log into that host. So you have to type L O G, that host machine is smart enough to finish off the word and type the I-N for you. So Charlie typed the L and over the phone said, get the L, got the L, got the O, got the O, get the G, crash. This machine crashed. So the first message ever on the internet was low, as in lo and behold. You could think of the telegraph message, what hath God wrought? or the telephone message, come here, Watson, I need you, or man on the moon, giant leap for mankind. Those guys were smart. They understood media. They prepared a message. They had a camera, they had video, they had a written record of it. We had none of those things. We didn't have a camera. We didn't have a voice recording. Just the three of us, Charlie and I, and Bill. Well, we didn't think this was a big deal. This was part of our engineering job to make this, this network work. I like to say this is the day when the infant internet uttered its first words, and that was the first word it uttered. But when you think about our message that went through, low, it's probably the best concise, prophetic message we could have cooked up. Lo and behold, portending the future, if you will.